welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing our final walk around Baba Yaga, AKA the Boogeyman. The Blackout Peterbilt 389. I'm gonna say since we started this, I did not in my head really know what to think about a, a truck with so much black on it. Yeah, so we've, we've built some trucks with some black products on them before, but we didn't do black everything. Yeah, I and mean, it's not everything, but it is mostly everything. It's, yeah, it's, it's, there's a whole lot of it on there. And it looks good. I really, I, I do, I like it. Um, I, you know, I've been, I've been on the fence with some pieces and, of it, and like, as we're getting it done, like, and it turned out, I think it's pretty sharp. No, it definitely turned out really, really sharp. We hope Angelina loves it just as much as we do. Uh, make sure you check out her Instagram and her YouTube channel as well. She's got a pretty cool YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, lots of fast cars. A whole lot of fast cars, supercars, all kinds of really fun yeah. toys. And I'm sure you'll see this thing a whole lot on that. Yeah, yeah. So you get to be able to keep up on uh, what this truck's out in the world doing. So that's going to be really cool too as well. So should we... Uh, we should just turn the camera around, go talk about the whole truck there, and... Uh, we haven't, it hasn't even left the shop yet, Tommy. Mm -hmm. Like, we need to go drive it <laughs> just to make sure everything's good. Yeah, it needs a test drive just so that way we can figure out if there's anything that uh, maybe we didn't 100% uh, catch during yeah. the build. <laughs> We've had a lot of time. I think we're good, but we should just, we should take it for a drive. Yeah, no, because you never know. You never know what's going to shake out or shake off. The interior of this truck is super cool, too. <laughs> Nothing's going to shake off. I just, that's just funny. I just caught that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's falling off this truck. Probably. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, but the interior too. We'll show you the interior. I really love the way the interior turned out. It really did. It, it turned out pretty cool. So there's not there's no red on the outside of the truck, but uh, the red accents on the interior. And the lighting. Super, super cool. And the lighting. We're going to show you the lighting. It's lots of cool stuff. Let's just do it. Let's, let, yeah, let's just check this All out. Right. All right, here it is. So I feel like before we like get into like the, all the details of this truck, you should just look at it. Yeah, I mean, would you look at it? I mean, just look at it. Just look at that. It's Peterbilt. That thing is black. That is super black. I and mean, realistically, the first thing that I notice as soon as we start looking at the front end of this truck is how there is no chrome on the front leading surfaces of the truck. The grill, the bumper. I mean, it's it started chrome and then you guys put this light powder coating on it and made it like a black chrome. Yep. So some of the pieces on this truck are not necessarily painted black. They've got like the black chrome powder coating on it. It's a, it's like a, tra it's, it's, so it's translucent black, um, which gives it that, like it has a good reflection to it. Um, takes in a little more light than just plain black would. Yeah. And, and so uh, you can kind of see like on the bumper there. Yep. Yeah. And then we did the grill bars. Those are in the translucent black. And then the Peterbilt logo is mm -hmm. in translucent black. But the grill itself, we painted black and the headlight buckets. Yep, and the boxes are translucent black. The stacks are translucent black. Um, it just, it's a mean looking truck. It really is. It's very sinister and it definitely earns the nickname Boogeyman. For sure. I mean, <laughs> every, every single sense. Especially once you do the lights. Yeah, this is- this You wanna put the lights on real quick? Yeah. Just get that whole thing out of the way. There you go, the lights is on. Looks really good in the dark. This truck lights up super, super nice. My favorite part about all of the light system is definitely what you did with the breather. The breathers are cool. Uh, we, we hid the lights in the breathers, so uh, I'll show you this real quick. But when it's off and then we turn the lights on, you'll see, but you, you, they're almost, they're almost, they almost completely disappear. You can't see it. Well, they do cut, they do disappear once the truck's off. Um, they're super neat. It, it was a, it was a good little touch to, to kind of keep everything super clean and hidden. Um, you know, we did lights behind the bumper. We did the whole underglow kit, the interior. We did a ton of red stuff on the inside. It all lights up red. Um, the lighting on the truck's awesome. And it definitely looks really good. You want to open the door real quick and see those, uh, those red lights in the interior? Yeah. 
So on the inside, we did watermelon lights. They're all, both of those are red. We did some lights underneath the dash in red. It gives it a nice little glow in here. Um, super cool. I mean, all the accents in this truck are basically black and red. So we'll go over the interior more when we drive this thing, but the interior is freaking sharp. It definitely turned out super nice. I love the little red stitching in the door, the red lights, like you said, it really sets off everything. Looking at the, the screen on the camera there, it didn't do it a lot of justice. No, nah, it, it looks way better in person. Yeah, this, it definitely looks way cooler than what the, the video was showing there. All right, well, let's flip the lights on and go over the rest of the truck. All right, now we got the lights back on in the shop. Kind of show you guys, but you can see right down through here, that is our LED strip that we mounted on both sides. And you can, uh, basically, they're, they're basically hidden. I like it. it. It's super clean look, and then at night, they light up. And so that, that's all stemmed from Angelina's dad, uh, Ella, is going to be the guy driving this all the time. And so what he was asking was, is there a way to have breather lights, but also make them disappear or make them not visible looking at the breather bar? He wanted a clean front breather bar, but he wanted lights on the breathers as well. So <laughs> Brian, Brian was scratching his head with that one. I was like, you know what? I don't really know how we're going to pull that off. And uh, to be 100% honest, I just kind of went hands off with it. I was like, well, that sounds like something for you, Brian. And we tried We tried several different things and we landed on that. And like we did all these elaborate ways of doing it and it just never looked good. And then the simplest way was the best way. Definitely looks super cool. I, I was really, really, really impressed with how that turned out. So... Definitely a good idea, and it accomplished everything he was asking for. Oh, yeah. So some other things, you know, we obviously we changed the headlights out, did the blackout headlights. And then the 12-gauge panels, so they're all button lights underneath. And then we've got our, uh, our underglow. So the easiest way to show the underglow is back here in the back. All our red lights in the back, too. We did four in the back of the sleeper, and then you've got the 10 in the rear center panel. But then we got our underglow brackets. So that is one of our underglow lights. This is a firewire light. And if I get kind of underneath this thing, there you go, in the way. Maybe the camera's looking at it, but there's a, there's a, there's a light here and that's a, a red uh, rock light from firewire. And basically we put uh, like 14 of those on the truck, all underneath it. And that's what gives you a red underglow. Um, past that, I mean, I don't know. I think the number of button lights, including the ones that are in the interior, there's like a uh, hundred and it's like 130 total. So you've got like the 10 on top of the visor up there. It's also 12 gauge visor um, with the, with the penny lights. And it's the thing this lights up at night. This freaking looks awesome. It is really cool. I, I love what I love about the lights. The most is the only ones visible that you can see not counting the headlights is just the ones above the visor. Yeah. If you're standing here looking at the truck from here, you don't see any lights anywhere. Yeah. And then you turn them all on, the truck just it lights up it, good. It, it glows. It's crazy. And I'll also say too, you know, I just we mentioned the blackout headlights. Those are an LED headlight, and they're really bright at night. They're they're awesome headlights. They uh, they work really well. So in the beginning, those lights were the stock housing or the stock headlight. And they just stuck out like a sore thumb. Um, it was just driving us nuts. We thought about tinting them and doing a couple other things. And just at the end of the day, it was like, you know what? Just put blackout headlights in it, be done with it. They look cool. Um, all right, so what else? We start going over all the pieces. Obviously we did a ton of paint work. Uh, we painted literally everything, but I guess we'll start with the front end. So we've got a 20 inch mitered in bumper. Um, That's a stainless bumper and we powder coated it. Uh, the translucent black. It's also got a bumper flip kit, which you can see right there. Um, and then we painted our rear panels back here black and put our penny lights in them. We also installed these dudes. Um, I guess he may be doing some oversized work, so you can put your flags right there. Um, pretty cool setup. It's got an air dump kit on it. Mark and the guys at the paint shop, as always, freaking knocked it out. The paint is flawless on this truck. Um, you know, we painted so many pieces of this truck and they all just look amazing. It, I, like, I don't know, I like black. We all have black trucks around here. 
and the more you look at it, the more you, you, you just, you like it more and more every time. Yeah, it grows on me every single time I see this truck. Yep. Not that it needed to, because once we had it all done and assembled, I was looking at it like, man, this, this is way, way cooler than I expected it to be. Mm-hmm. The contrast to me on this black chrome in the grill, that is the best looking setup. Uh, the black chrome and that grill and the grill bars on the black paint and the same thing with this emblem just look freaking awesome. It's pretty neat that that's powder coat. It's a translucent yeah. powder coat and you, it just gives you a cool look to it. I, I'm super, super happy about how that turned out. Honestly, I've, I've thought about that numerous times. It's just going ahead and having a couple of these made like this mm -hmm. and just offering them on the website. Guys, it's not a us, terrible idea. Let us know in the comments if you would like a translucent black Peterbilt logo to stick on your truck. It would be cool. That'd be, it'd be pretty neat to offer several of those. We also did the, the 12 gauge breather chops and then those are also that translucent black, which is a great, again, it's just a super great contrast on the black itself. I like it a lot. Um, we did the strapless breather kit from 12 gauge. We got the 12 gauge mirror brackets on here, uh, cleans up the look tremendously on the truck. And again, we painted freaking everything. Um, the mirrors just look awesome on this truck. There's a lot of work. There's like, there's little stuff you might not notice that we like, like for instance, the bracket right up here for the mirror, you've got to drill the rivets out, take the interior out and all that. You drill those rivets out, take that bracket off, paint it, paint the rivets and then reinstall it. Um, so that's just like little things that take a little bit of time, but make a difference, you know? Um, the exhaust. So this is a Dynaflex exhaust kit. Um, the stacks look awesome and they're also powder coated the translucent black. Um, this was one of the pieces that I really just could not wrap my head around having a truck without the big chrome exhaust on it. Yeah. And it looks good. It really does look good. Yeah, the, the, this piece and the bumper was the two pieces for me that I was having a hard time wrapping my head around. Because, I mean, I've seen painted bumpers and I had a certain opinion about them every single time I've seen them. Yep. <laughs> so, so that and the black stacks. I, I, the black stack thing is kind of growing on me just because I've seen so many builds uh, in the past, you know, four or five years that, that are, they're getting more and more black stacks. Now, I've not seen any of the translucent. Well, the there's, 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 some, there's some, I've seen them a few years ago in Louisville. Yeah. Um, but... You don't see a lot of it. No, but I've seen I've seen a lot of people going flat black for different builds. Yep. Uh, there was there was one at SEMA. I didn't get to go, but so I had some buddies sending me pictures of his truck that I was at SEMA. That had a really cool wrap on it and had a really neat flat black stack. I mean, it was it was pretty cool. Yeah. It turned out really nice. So uh, we got twelve gauge boxes on this truck. Um, we left the uh, we left the step plates polished, and then over here on the front end. We painted the front hubs black, and then this is the lifetime lug nut cover um, chrome oil caps, and we just took them apart and had them powder coated to be translucent black as well. Um, and then just the regular lug nut covers, obviously left the wheels polished on it. Uh, coming over here, we painted the def tank and the fuel tanks, left the straps polished, keeps a nice clean look to it. And then we've got back here our toolboxes. So the toolboxes, um, those are also a 12 gauge, it's a full toolbox lockable and did those again translucent black and they look super sharp in the back of this truck get the merit deck plate right there in the center oh yeah we just powder coated the deck plate so we had we had discussed about painting it and doing all these other things the powder coat will hold up uh to the abuse a little bit better uh than painting them so we went ahead and powder coated those just because uh he will be getting up and down on this you know yeah it just make it a little bit better just made more sense. Yep. Yeah. Wanted it to be a little bit more durable, a little more, a little more capable of like taking some, some shoe rubbing and so on and so forth, just in case. Yeah. Cause sometimes, I mean, sometimes you're in a hurry and you got to hook up things really quick and mm -hmm. then, you know, it's nice to not have to worry about every single small piece of the truck. Oh yeah. So then we'll get over here to the fenders. So these are Hogue built ultimate low rider fenders and we painted these dudes black and they look freaking cool. It's, uh, they're blind mounted with the blind mount brackets bolted right up here. And um, you're gonna probably wonder like, well, these look great right now, but as soon as you drive down the road, the inside of that fender is just gonna come, this, it's not gonna stay there, it's gonna come right off. And it's gonna look terrible. That is incorrect because 
we did, it'll show it well enough. Let's see. Get out of the light. Here we go. It's uh, it's rhino lined. So that's uh, that's actual rhino lining. There you go. The light coming in. So it's actually rhino lined, and uh, basically that thing's gonna help even. Uh, make the fender a little sturdy from like inside dings coming out and things hitting it and it'll keep that fender uh, staying on the inside black forever. Um, we also did these wheel covers and we had them uh, done in translucent black and they look super sharp. It's a good contrast on the wheel. It looks good, yeah. It, it adds some black. I mean, originally uh, the customer, both Angelina and Ally had both asked about doing black wheels and I, I don't know, me and Brian was both having trouble with that. We, we looked at several different options for putting some black wheels on it, and the black really just disappears because of how black the tire is mm -hmm. and everything else. And so, you know, your wheel is typically, you know, one of those accent points that, you know, you, you want it to stand out a little bit. Yep. So, yeah. Uh, having some black inside the wheel, I think, was a good compromise uh, doing the, the blackout wheel covers. Oh, yeah. No. Covers. I like them. They look good. These are actually the factory uh, mud flap hangers, and we painted those black. And then we got the uh, Iowa Customs rear center panel back here. With the tail lights to match what's in the back of the sleeper up there. Yep. Um, I mean, it just, all of it looks awesome. We also did our reverse, our hidden reverse light under there. So you see the LED strip. That's actually our reverse light. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Let me paint the tanks. We did it. Oh, hey, here's the first. We haven't done this on the channel before. We put a camera back there. It actually turned out way cooler than I thought it was going to. When he told us to mount us a, a camera on the back of the sleeper, I was thinking, man, that thing's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. But you know, the crazy part is the, I, I think had we not mentioned it on the channel, I don't know that anybody would have pointed it out. Pointed out there was a camera back yeah. there, yeah. yeah. That so is. it's got a it's got a front and rear camera set up. It records, does all that stuff, yep. and there's a, we'll show you when we get on the inside and go for a drive. Uh, we got the screen set up in there. It's super cool. Yeah, you guys put it in a place where it was. Uh, it's definitely it's definitely out of way, out of sight kind of thing. Easy it's, easy to view, but you can well you we can open up the door real quick, show it. Yeah. We put it in the overhead console. Um, you, there you go. So uh, once we crank the truck up, and the camera has power back there. Uh, the rear the rear camera will show up and then you got your front camera right there mounted on the front windshield so uh pretty neat setup and it's a place where it's easy to glance at but um is out of the way so it didn't obstruct the dash or 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 what you're viewing out the window i see a lot of people mount them on the window mount them on the dashboards and stuff and we just really didn't want to we didn't want to clutter things up so that little pocket hole up there made a perfect place to mount that camera what else we got to cover? Uh, the drive. The drive. Yeah, we've not got to drive it yet. I say we go drive it. Yeah, we should probably do that. Yeah, we need to go on a test drive. I'm sure that we've done so much of the truck. Like, I'm, I'm sure I've, like, forgot a few things here and there. But um, well, we haven't covered any of the actual interior other than showing the lights. So The other piece of the puzzle was this little deal right there. We made that plate. So if you'll look right in between the fuel tanks and the, the stacks. The, so that... Um, that plate there is powder coated black. And then on the back side of it, we've got a, a heat shield built onto it um, because your DPF is running right there. And this was one of those ones where the whole truck was blacked out, but you could see that big DPF can is bright silver and it just stuck out like a sore thumb. So we built this little panel that bolts right on there and um, it'll work really well and it helps keep the truck super clean looking, you know, without having a bunch of black everywhere or silver on top of the black. Otherwise, yeah, we just need to go drive this thing. You want to do rock, paper, scissors for who gets to drive it? No, I think I'm just going to drive it. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of figured that was coming. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm driving. Well, can I drive it after you drive it? How about, how about I drive it to our turnaround spot and you drive it from the turnaround spot? I like it. This is fair. This is, this is fair. But yeah, all right, we'll back this thing out and uh, go take her down the road.
real quick, I wanted to show you guys the bumper flip kit. So, there you go. Gives you a little more ground clearance, as you can tell. And it's got train horns. So, it's got all the things it needs. Ready to go for a ride? Let's go. All right. So, we're heading down the road. So far, so good. Everything's happy, except for one thing. What? The fuel gauge. We're going to need to get some fuel. Yeah, well, luckily, I don't want to say we're in the clear because we're not, but we're only about one mile away from the fuel stop. We can so, see it, and at 59 miles an hour, I think we can coast there. I think we can coast it. Yeah, we'll be all right. Yeah, there's nobody behind us. Let's test the theory here. You just want to see if you can coast a mile? Yeah, I mean, we are completely out of gear. Looks like we're holding speed, but we're also on a downgrade. We're about to hit this small hill We're going to hit this hill. Us. How much does it slow down on the hill? I'm going to go, I don't know that we make it. We might make it. I think we're going to make it. You think we make it? Yeah, well, I don't know. We're, <laughs> we're losing speed pretty quick. We're already at 50 miles an hour. Yeah, but we got a little bit of a downgrade. We got, we'll, uh, maybe we'll fix yeah, them up right here. You know what? We're going we're to make, make it. it. We're going to make it. I'm calling it. I put my one penny we're going to make it. But you've got you've to be able to coast it all the way to the fuel pump. To the fuel stop. Yeah, that means you gotta, you got to like, you got to get it right to the pump. Well, you know, if there's no oncoming traffic, I'm, I'm going to get us in. All the way in, just to a coast. We're down to 44 miles an hour. Oh yeah, we got this all day long. I bet we could get all the way to the bridge at this point. I bet we could, but there's traffic coming up. All right, so. Oh, you got it, it's yeah. open. You're gonna make it. <laughs> got, got our clearing. I don't wanna swing it in too fast, but I also wanna keep some momentum here. All oh, right. he's, oh, he's gonna do it. We'll coaster right on in there. And. Nailed it. That's all we needed. We didn't even need to run the truck that whole time. No. <laughs> I bet the power steering would have been a lot harder than a... It would have been a little bit more difficult. It wouldn't difficult. have been that easy getting in here. <laughs> Pulling out of the fuel stop here. Putting yeah. on our safety devices. We've got our safety belts on. Brian's about to pull out of here. Oh, well, all these cars. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Just cause. Just cause. Just cause. We don't want to be rushed. Don't want nobody uh, pushing up on us or nothing like that. We're just gonna we're gonna wait for the right moment. Get on the road here. Yep. Get her going. Trucking, son. Trucking. Trucking. Time. Damn, there's another cars. Going over the bridge. Yep. Is this your favorite part of every drive, Brian? The bridge. Yeah. I mean, the view's good. It is a really nice view. I mean, the lake here is absolutely gorgeous. Dell Hollow Lake. Burkstown, Tennessee. It's got what, 634 miles of shoreline? I haven't seen all of it, but that's what, I, that's what I'm told, a whole lot. Yeah, it's got it's got a whole lot of shoreline on it. Take you a real long time in a raft with a paddle. Is that a paddle boat? Yeah, or paddle boat. You'd be in shape when you got done. Yeah, you would. I'm glad we got some, uh, some light on the dash because I thought I was going to have to fire up the old flashlight to show everybody what the black and red contrast was and how it looks on the screen here. The view out the window driving it, like just like with any peripherals, the dash and everything, yep. is really satisfying. It's, Very, it's, it's it, awesome. It's quite pleasant. Yeah, 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 for sure. Not a whole lot of stuff for you know th there to be a glare off of. I mean, oh. there was there was a little bit of glare on the dash coming this way, but it was only because I was looking directly at the sun. <laughs> but no, this thing. Uh, I dig it. All right. In the interior, like the, the red and black stitching, um, the red and black accents on the interior, I like it's the thing's awesome. So, what is your favorite part about the whole build? 
Um, I'm trying to remember. There it is. Turn the lights on down there. Favorite part of the whole build? I, usually it's just the whole build. It's just fun to build. If I was to pick something that like I think is the coolest feature of the whole truck, um, I really love the contrast on the grill with the black chrome and the black painted grill surround. Yeah, I, I just think that looks awesome. Um, the interior of this truck is super nice. Um, you know, I kind of like just the little bit we did it has gone a long way. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I, I don't know, we don't have any uh, royalty free music to play, but the stereo, the stereo sounds really good in here, especially for what it is. It's just a single 12, a 900 watt amp, uh, replace all the factory speakers and put the Kenwood head unit in it. And um, one thing when we get stopped, I'll, I'll show them all over the bed, but we did a pretty cool trick thing of how we ported the box into the cap. Yeah. Um, and it looks really nice. Not that anybody ever even probably stick their head in there to look at it that close, um, but it was a pretty cool way we did it. Um, then obviously you got the camera system here, which is no, obst uh, no obstruction of view. Typically some, some guys mount these a little bit higher and of course when you got the, the drop visor that camera's got to come down a little bit there are some guys who mount it on down here but you lose a lot of view as far as what you're looking at out in front yeah out in front of you so obviously the higher the better you kind of see what the camera's seeing from this angle and they're pretty or, cool because they're wireless so all you did was all we did was run power to them yeah so it's holding the camera with one hand there it's making it look a little shaky this truck's riding very smooth, just in case anybody's wondering. That was me holding the camera. Hold the camera. Yeah. <laughs> I was holding it like at an angle with one hand. I'll tell you what, this thing, it'd be fun to get down the road with it. It really would. No, I, 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 would, I would enjoy driving this truck. Every single minute of it would enjoy it a lot. We got old Jesse Toller sitting at the Bobcat den. I'll go there and see what they're eating for uh, lunch today. There's a video coming soon. We're gonna we're gonna talk about specking trucks. You guys are gonna get a lot closer to Jesse Toller in that video. Yeah. What did you say the other day? Like, well, we gotta look it up for sure. But there's like how many gazillion options if you're to build a truck? It's like so, 27 million or something? No, no. So that the the number I was told, and I, I don't know if this is just somebody saying it. If you took all the options and the different combinations of spec options in a spec. You can build a Peterbilt 2.5 million different ways, which if, is... If you go through smart spec, I could see it. it, it there's, it's, there's a, yeah. it's nuts, because there's like a couple hundred line items, and for every line items, there's like there's like three or four or five, you know, some of but them have like eight options. The, the key, though, is different ways. So, you know, you could build an entire truck and then build it, you know, with, and put 24 fives on it. Then take that same truck, put 22 fives on it. That's a different way. Yeah. And then you could do the colors, and then so you know, like, uh, yeah, yeah, two, two and a half million. So I mean, I believe it. Which is crazy to think that probably almost, I you know, outside of like stock trucks at dealerships, it's probably not very likely that any two Peterbilts are very much the same, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, what is the likelihood that someone's going to pick the exact same options that were available in that year? Because, you know, options change and some options come and some options go. So I wonder what the likelihood is that someone has ordered two Peterbilts exactly identical to each other without coordinating or knowing it. Yeah, like opposite sides of the country don't know anybody yeah. just pull up and they're, they're, I mean, it's probably not. Yeah, it's, and, unless, they bought, unless they bought a stock truck from the same dealership which even you know from us dealers we get the options to you know choose a bunch of different you know options and whatnot on our stock trucks i mean we get to build it out the same way customers do mm -hmm. so on our stock trucks you know a stock truck at you know dealership a versus dealership b they're typically different as well yeah very different so yeah we're, that nobody's got one like this at the dealership right now no nobody ain't nobody got a truck like this nowhere <laughs> you
just successfully got through every gear on video. How do you feel about this? I feel I feel accomplished. I feel uh, I feel real good. I'd like to thank my sponsors, uh, Peterbilt, Semi Casual. Uh, that's the only ones I got. No, no, you still got you get you got 12 gauge, 12 gauge customs, Iowa customs, Dynaflex exhausts, uh, SH tube. Who else? Mark the painter. Mark, Mark <laughs> the paint shop. Without him, I wouldn't be where I am today. Shifting gears and Peter Bell. <laughs> shop is gonna be like, why didn't you? What did you oh, thank me as well? Can't forget about my crew chief, uh, Shockley, Chris Shock, <laughs> team owner, <laughs> team owner, Tommy Fitzgerald. <laughs> All right, we're getting ridiculous here. All right, let's let's move back to product pro productive stuff. We're going back to productivity mode here. All right, so or some specs or something, right? Yeah, yeah. So the specs on this truck, it is a platinum interior, full gauge package. 18 speed, 605 horsepower, 2,050 foot pounds of torque. 250? 2,050. 2,550? No, 2050. <laughs> and I want to, and if you're watching, I want to give this a shout out to the guy in the red truck taking pictures. Yeah, shout we did. Brandon thought that was the coolest thing ever. We were turning around the guy slung in got a picture of the truck real quick which is always nice it's like it's cool when people appreciate what's well, your work it, it was definitely neat because it's like well you know, hey, there's a truck guy uh especially in birdstown you, yeah yeah it's you don't see a lot of them. Don't, don't see a whole lot of that looks like the color already left yeah man he's fast real fast gonna get in there eat All right, so now that we're back in the shop, kind of be able to show you a little bit of the interior, less interrupted. I've got the lights, the red lights over here on the on the dim side, so they're not as bright, turning everything red in here. Um, and I've got the ones on the dash off, just so you kind of see a little bit better uh, of kind of the color combos going on in here. But you know, we've got our headliner black and red stitching, and we did our lights. We did those. Uh, we painted them black. Look sharp. Um, obviously our door panels and stuff and then our dash I really do like the black gauges the, the, they look awesome on there um, yeah and you know another cool trick too we did uh, they kind of look chrome in the camera but that's black chrome on the uh, on the emblems on the doors as well so pretty cool pretty cool setup now back here I was in, talking about the speaker earlier so what we did is we put two holes right here so that the base has got a way to you know get behind if you put the if you put the sub in here and you leave this and you don't port this part of the the structure that holds the bed up um it really just makes a rattle trap out of it and so allowing the air to pass through makes the base sound a whole lot better and uh what we did is we just took some speaker grills and mounted speaker grills in there and uh you know, with the, the you can't see it when the bed's down because the bed comes all the way to this edge right here. But, um, you know, it, it looks nice. You don't have things flying through the hole. I don't really know how anything really would. But anyway, just, I guess, more or less, the fit and finish of having those speaker grills there works really well. And then we put the uh, kicker sub in here. We've got a power inverter. And then our kicker amp mounted right there. Um, pretty cool setup and the I mean for the single sub and just replacing the factory speakers and the head unit it sounds super great um, there's our flags for the bumper for the oversized oversized flags but that's the sub setup pretty cool all right before I climb out of here I'm gonna show you what the lights look like with everything on full blast uh, there we go there's all your red lights a little more red on the interior. Pretty awesome. I would enjoy driving this thing for sure. And then you've got your camera set up. Look, you can see right now. 
see everything. So pretty neat setup overall. I'm uh, really happy with how everything on this truck turned out. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked everything you saw. I know I sure did. That's uh, this this truck just turned out awesome. It is it is super cool. Uh, I like again when we started this, I did not know what to think about doing so much black on a truck, but mm -hmm. it's cool. I like it. it. It looks really super good. I mean, there is there is a ton of black on it, and we had our reservations in the beginning, but the final product is nothing short of incredible it's I, cool it, it's really really super cool what do you guys think about it tell us in the comments i know there's gonna be people that be like i don't like it there's gonna be people that say they love it we want to hear them all so uh there's, there's gonna be so many split comments it is it's, it's gonna be like auburn and alabama kind of thing it's like split <laughs> households yeah there's gonna be people who love it and hate it and they're gonna be sitting at the same dinner table <laughs> <laughs> but that's it you guys know what you gotta do yep you gotta like subscribe follow us on instagram at semi-casual show and also check out our website it's getting cold out we've got hoodies and we've got also a calendar coming up that we're about to post real soon and what's really cool about it it's affordable for anybody anybody can buy this thing it's 20 bucks and it has a lot of super cool trucks in it yeah a lot of the ones we did uh you guys have watched on the channel so we're pretty excited about having a calendar and uh we'll have it out in a couple weeks exactly so if you guys know anybody in the trucking industry or former formerly in the trucking industry or just anybody who loves big trucks this is the calendar for them It'll be on our website, semicasualshow.com, and click on the merchandise tab. Other than that, see you guys in the next video. See ya. Later.